Welcome once again, Spazites, to another Transformers video review. Today is day two of our Transformers Core Class Legacy Evolution Dinobots Volcanicus Reviewathon. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm calling it, but here we have Dinobot Slug. He is uh, number two of six of a Volcanicus, and he actually gets a little handheld gun. That, um, I believe, uh, I think it goes on its tail in robot mode. But, <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and get him out of his little cardboard prison. And we'll be right back after another quick cut. Well, our first quick cut for this video. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Be right back. Stick with me. <laughs> And here is Dinobot Slug in all of his robotic glory. He has a stationary... Oh, no, he doesn't have a stationary head. I don't know why I said that. I think it was because I was thinking he has a stationary head. But no, his head can actually turn 360 degrees. Yay! And it's on a little ball joint, so it actually has a tiny little bit of up and down movement, too. He can rotate his shoulders around. Um, not quite 360 degrees. His uh, little neck thing and his back get in the way, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that's probably part of the later transformation. But <clears throat> his hips do seem to be on a, a swivel pin there, but there. If you flip those things up on the side of him, they actually go up. And to be honest, actually, that looks a little more like the actual G1 toy, because I believe the G1 toy had some, like, wings or something. I actually had to put his feet down, because when they're up like that, he's a little back heavy and does not want to stand on these little heels. So to fix that, I put his feet down like this to give him a little more uh, stability. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> he actually has knees. And legs that are attached to the hip on a ball joint. So he can do the splits. He can kick this far forward. This far backwards. And uh, yeah, he's got a knee that bends more than 90 degrees. Um, perhaps due to transformation. <laughs> he also comes with a gun. That goes right in his little hand like that. Boom. Pew, pew, I'm a little core-class guy with a little core-class gun, yay! <laughs> That's enough out of me. I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, this is Slug. He's cute. Um, I, I think he's better than Sludge. Uh, as far as robot mode goes. And I'm really happy to have him in my collection. He is really neat. Um, I'm not really going to compare these guys to any deluxe or or Voyager, or especially not their leader class counterparts, just because it's not necessary whatsoever. So I apologize for that if anyone's looking to see how big they are compared to uh, any other figures. Um, let's just say they're not large. They're just core class. They're small. If you know what core class is, then you know they're not large. <laughs> they are considerably bigger than uh, the, the Blue Rumble that we got in the studio series so there is that because <laughs> he is tiny he is he does not belong being a core class price point he should be half that price but anyway there i go rambling again let's go ahead and do another quick cut i will transform him into his beast mode and we will be right back so stick with me and thanks again for watching continuing to watch with me whatever be right back and here is Dinobot Slug in his robot, or his, his beast mode, his dinosaur mode. And uh, he is a cute little dinosaur. He actually has full articulation in all four feet, all four legs. Um, just the legs. There is no knee or foot articulation, anything special. Um, he can actually go like that. <laughs> oh, I tripped and fell. <laughs> Because of uh, the way his his arms are. These aren't really good ratchets, too. These are strong little ratchets. So they, they put a lot into this. His tail just clips into... Really snugly into the back here with that hole there. Boom. 
And then this peg, I'm assuming, has to do with Volcanicus and his uh, transformation. But, like I said, we'll get around that to when we do the Volcanicus transformation. But yeah, overall, I like this a lot better than the sludge. Yeah, the sludge figure. Um, slug is... Uh, leaps and bounds better. He also has an opening mouth because of transformation, which is really cool. There's a big void right there in his chest, though, which is a little weird, but it's covered up in robot mode for, again, during transformation. So, anyway, yeah, there he is. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do. I'm uh, almost to 1,000 subscribers, so I'm looking forward to uh, meeting that milestone. Really excited about that. Uh, anyway, all that having been said, until next time, as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, especially in between those fingers. And when you go out, please be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I'm sorry. I really am. Bye.